Hello everybody, we are the Killers from Las Vegas and you're watching Fuse On Demand. Get it when you want it. I mean, this festival is amazing. It, it, it has everything you'd want in a festival, minus a big ass lake that you can jump into. We played a show and now we're on a bus and we'll be home in 30 minutes. That's, that's, that's awesome. Man. I mean, it's, you know, Tennessee, this is where we grew up. It's, you know, it's very, I guess, very familiar to us. It's got a, that's the great thing about Bonham. It's got such a, uh, like a close-knit vibe. Like, you'll very seldom run into anyone here that hasn't been here for the last five or six years straight. Molly's Chambers are like the old fans, but, I mean, obviously, you, somebody, and Sex on Fire are probably the ones that get the most uh, rise out of people. But man, we played a new one last night and it's kind of sing along -y, and they went nuts. So that's a, you know, that's a good thing. That's also another good thing about Bonnaroo to when you've got a record coming out, just kind of let them be a little guinea pigs, bounce it off of them, see what they're, what they're into. And we'll probably throw three or four new ones in there. It's, it's hard. You don't want to play at all because you don't want everybody to have heard everything on the record. So we don't know what goes over the best. We just know what goes over the best out of the four that we've played. And afterwards, people are like, man, amazing show. Like, I love that you guys play new stuff. But when you do it, you feel really weird. It's like playing in Japan. They're very polite. And they, like, clap for, like, 10 seconds, and they stop clapping completely. And it's like, yeah, totally. You hear crickets, and you, like, click off your tuner and start the next song. We love the Pixies. And Where's My Wine is, like, it, uh, arguably, you know, top ten songs ever for me. I like love that song, and I it like hit me in high school, and I never stopped listening to the Pixies after that. But that was the first song that really hit me. I think we had only played that song twice before, and had <laughs> so horribly both times that we were like, our last rehearsal, we were like, no way we're playing that song at Bonnaroo. Absolutely no way we're going to set ourselves up for disaster. It's such a such an iconic and great song. There's no way we want to be known as the band that mutilated, you know, <laughs> where is my mind? And then the next time we played it was last night in front of all those people. It's definitely a challenge playing a festival like this, and especially headlining, you've got a lot of weight on you. You've got to, not only do you want people to think it was an amazing show, but you want to be the best headliner. You want to be, if not the band, one of the bands that people walk away saying like, man, did you see that show? That was sick. So that's the biggest challenge for us. Last night was truly uh, definitely one of our proudest moments as a band. And you know, what a great way to, to kick off our, uh, you know, our summer than playing in our backyard. All of our friends, all of our family, everyone that was there six years ago when we played in the tent, um, those are really the people that came up to me and just said how proud they were of us. We kind of stuck it out. And the bands that were playing six years ago when we were here, a lot of them don't even play music anymore. And the fact that we worked our way up to headline on a stage that the next night was gonna have Stevie Wonder on it. And, you know, it's just it's pretty nuts. I don't want to be done with Bonnaroo. It's one of my favorite festivals. Um, I'll definitely be back. You know, whether or not I'm on stage, I'll definitely be back. Um, but I, you know, I don't think we're the kind of band that plays a show and thinks that we can't beat it next time. Hell, we might come back and do a version of the Flaming Lips, doing a version of Outside of the Moon. <laughs>